Do you reckon he's looting? Sounds like he might just kill the scav, yeah? Then he's just gone up top. Says. How's it going everybody? My name's Chipper and welcome back to another video on Escape from Tarkov. So in today's video, we are talking about SMG leg metal. I wanted to see out of all the rounds available when it came to flesh damage, which SMG I would prefer to use. And I ended up coming up and we we're breaking it down to these four different guns um, and these four different rounds. So starting off is probably an old favorite, which is the Keta B variant, which is, which is suppressed and the very budget round that everyone's probably used at some point, which is the SP7, 150 rubles a pop, with 77 flesh damage and no increase to um, uh, our recoil control, it is a very cheap and, and budget friendly option. I did personally find that it took most of the 30 round clip to kill players just because the, this is probably one of the lower flesh damage rounds that you could be using. Um, and especially if the opponent was um, over say 15 or 20 meters, the, the Keta does really suffer in that regards, but still super budget option. When it came to the 9 mils, there are a few options that you have available. Um, obviously, you can go with the Vector 9 mil. Um, in my opinion, it's it's bored me to death. I mean, we've all seen it, we've all used it. And if you run a meta build, it really, in my opinion, is better to run 7N31. Now, when it comes to the ammunition, that's another thing that sort of really bugged me, was the fact that while this round does have 102 flesh damage, it does have 20% increased recoil control. This is the only round that has this ridiculously high increase to recoil control. Even 7N31 only has plus 15. I don't understand why these rip rounds do. So I'd like to see that change to like five or 10% maybe, if there is a reason why it has such a high recoil. Um, and just to balance it out, it's, in my opinion, 7N31 should be the one that has the increase because of the pen and also consistency that you get. But I don't know, it's just the way it is. It's still quite viable, but with the price and the amount of investment needed in the Vector, I think maybe like a budget um, MP9-N with its 1100 RPM, getting in close, using the 30 round mags and just blowing someone's legs apart, but not having the fear of losing heaps of cash um, when it comes to if it doesn't succeed. You've, you've pretty much just used a, like a $20,000 gun um, throw whatever attachments you want on it and away you go. You can obviously use the fan favorite, which is the MP5, but it is limited to only 800 RPM, which is quite slow when compared to some of these other choices. And in my opinion, has been replaced by the MP9, so, um, or the Vector. So choose, choose your poison when it comes to that one. Now, the two guns that I did love was definitely the P90 and the Vector 45. Now, starting off with the P90, the P90, in my opinion, was fantastic. I absolutely loved using it. I haven't really used this gun much um, with SS 190s. I've never really had any good success with it, but using it with these um, R37-F or full stop F uh, rounds was fantastic. And a big part of that was because of the muzzle velocity. These rounds shoot at over 700 MS. And because of that, you can confidently spray people down over 50 meters. And as long as you get two of these rounds to clip their legs, their stamina will be drained and they'll almost be sitting ducks. And then you can just offload probably the last 30 rounds in your magazine. 
um, in order to finish them to finish them off as well. But it also gives you that ability to potentially take down more than one opponent because of the 50 round uh, mag capacity. Now you do have to take multiple mags in because you can't really reload these mags due to the penalties on them. Um, it would just be it would just take too long. You're better off just taking multiple mags or using your secure container to stash um, um, extra mags if needed. But the good thing is is that these um, R37-F rounds only cost under 300 rubles, and you can get 300 of them, 300 rounds per reset. And you can even get them cheaper. There's people who've been selling these for 200 rubles a pop. So in my opinion, it's really refreshing to be able to just pre-fire and wing clip. Or clip people's legs um, by pre-firing and as long as you get one or a couple of rounds on their legs you put them on the ultra defensive where they can't spin around their options are limited they're potentially bleeding and heavy bleeding so in my opinion it was just a lot of fun to run and in my opinion is uh, definitely um, a big surprise when it came to what I thought was going to be the king when it came to leg meta. now in saying that though one of the probably the, the funniest, or the funniest and most destructive leg meta SMGs is definitely the Vector 45. And that's largely due to the rip ammo. These 45 rip rounds are ridiculous. 127 flesh damage and um, ridiculous chance to cause bleeding and um, heavy bleeds. And the only disadvantage you really got is the fact that you're limited to how many rounds you can buy. At the moment, you can only buy 100 of these, and they're around 300 rubles. But if you're trying to buy them on the um, flea market, they're so scarce that you could be paying a thousand a rub thousand bucks um, a round to up to two or three thousand a round, and that's when it starts to get un unobtainable. And there's just not a ra enough rounds on the flea market to even do that. I found I had to stockpile these rounds up consistently just to get a few runs in but if you do do that this round is absolutely brutal some of the kills i got which i shouldn't have been able to get with the vector it was just insane and a large part of that is just due to the insane vertical recoil as well as the insane fire rate that um, the vector 45 offers and it was really fun i highly recommend you give it a go save some rounds up um, and have a blast but the p90 and the vector 45 in my opinion are fantastic i do want to touch on too that it's around i think 98 flesh damage for these r30 uh, 37-fs and there's no recall increase on either these rounds or the um 45 uh rip rounds as as opposed to the nine mil variant of the rip round so um in my opinion that's really really strong you're not having to worry about increased recoil um, which is perfect when you're wanting to do leg better. Anyway, guys, um, how about we go into some clips? We'll be bouncing around between um, Shoreline and Customs, as that's pretty much where the most action was. And I just want to remind you guys too that I do stream on Twitch uh, uh, Sundays, um, Wednesdays, and Fridays um, from 7 p.m. Um, UTC plus 10. So I'd love to see you guys there. Um, if you um, haven't already checked out the channel, it would mean the world to me. Anyway guys, let's roll some of the clips and I hope you enjoy. Is that a player? Chilling out. Oh, he just looked weird. Three shows. Wait, did he just die? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, they work. <laughs> Just aim for the legs, boys. Just aim for the legs. <laughs> oh, he's a candy bar. Uh, stream alert. Hang on. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. Here we go. 
What's in here? Red keycard. Oh. Nice. Rip your toes. Alright. There'd be someone waiting for us or someone down here that's gonna blast us away. Well, there's another two. <laughs> were they bots or were they... No, they're players, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, rip rounds. Alright. Interesting. Audio kind of screw them guys over though. Let's face it. Let's call it what it is. Interesting loadout. That was a gunfire. I've got to be careful here. Oh, meta. <laughs> Face meta. <laughs> right. I was like, I'm like, the way he's angling and walking out there, I'm like, he's bound to come in here and. Is it only two of them? I'm pretty sure I only heard two. But no, my luck, there's going to be more. Oh, oh. That's that god damn. Oh, bleh. Upgrades. Kind of hesitant to uh, check on the roof. Oh my god, lads! The freak. What are you doing to me? Trying to give me a heart attack. What have you got in there that's too big? Uh, now we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Da, 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 da. And then, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do that. Damn it, I wanted to wait for grenades. Oh, we're fat. Fat, 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 fatty. Shut down. The hell? Busted the armor.
Hmm. I can hear him running off. And I've no idea where he's gone. Wait, was that him then? So that's the guy you just killed. Hello? There he is. We found him. <laughs> I don't know who that other guy is. That's just unfortunate. That could be even a scav player there. Well, I'm hoping that's him. Yeah, this had to be old matey. on. <laughs> he was making a runner. Hey, isn't that my mask? <laughs> oh no, that's just not, no it's not. Holy shit, no wonder he was running. <laughs> what the? Okay. That's why he didn't get away. <laughs> he couldn't. <laughs> um, how are we going to do this? Uh, the SSD is better, yeah. Stop it. Stop. I was wondering why he ran. Um, Suffered. With these in a moment. maybe?
feel like I'm going to get shot as soon as I try and evacuate. And I did not mean to do that either. Yeah, I thought I was legit going to get sniped as soon as I jumped off there. <laughs> fence jump, fence jump. Really hoping he's alone. <laughs> I can't even see what's going on down there. Bitcoin incoming, maybe. We shall see. Keep up. Pressing fire. No, he did not.
do that just in case. Could be friendlies. I want to fix this arm, my guns. Sagging. Oh, it's definitely someone downstairs. was in there. Better. Ah shit, I'm reloading! I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> Shh, don't let them know. <laughs> up unfortunately Not good, not good. Ah, oh, damn it, he got me in the head. I should have sprinted out. Thanks for watching another video, guys. If you really enjoy this content, I really appreciate a like. It really does help me out. As well as you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you back out there.